right. That was I think you, you weren't you weren't you didn't want to chill or you already had plans. It's I think you were no, you were you went to a show Saturday. No, it was oh, on Saturday. Yeah, because after Saturday. we got all we were ready to bounce, we we're like, yo, we should fucking hit up Alex. Oh no, you did thing. hit him up. I think you did because when we got back to my car, my happy ass came straight back here. I don't know what was up with you. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. How, how did we yeah. forget hanging out with each other? When it, it was happens, just like that's so recent. That shit happens. <laughs> happens, yeah. All the time. That's for sure. Mike's a hot. Hey. Yeah, Mike's a hot. Bam, 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 bam. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Jack in the Box podcast. It's been a minute, but the boys are back in the seats and ready to rock and roll. So, yes, sir. what have you guys been up to? Ooh. Work. 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 Twerk. Oh, <laughs> you twerk at what work? you working with? Uh, sometimes. Hey, <laughs> what you working with? Hey, hey. what you twerking <laughs> with? Yeah, that was a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> what you twerking with? Oh man, yeah. it, it looks. Like, yo, I be looking at size Instagram. I'm like, I'm like damn, there's a new am, going out. Right? I'm, I'm like pirate show, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, skating ring, the yep. creeps. Like, all of this, I'm yeah, like, water like, parts, I'm like, like dang, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, water parts, yeah. It's Let insane, me get man. that. I guess there are some perks to this. Yeah, it's not too bad. Bro. It's pretty it's dope. Pretty dope yeah. But so, yeah, when it's over, I'm going to miss it. Hey, my ass is stuck in the building, man. Just hey. stuck. <laughs> you get Chick-fil-A, which isn't bad. No, I got it worse. Yeah, I get Chick-fil-A, and I get towed <laughs> at Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's a story. Oh. That's a story. So, Wait till you hear this. Wow. <laughs> that one down, I like it. Go. So here we go. Here we go. Bring it back. Before Fourth of July, <laughs> so what was it? Wednesday, you know, we get an early day because of the holiday. So it comes around to be like twelve o'clock. I'm like, man, I'm hungry. I got a free Chick Fil A card, and I told my homie, I was like, yo, yo, let's go get some Chick Fil A. Everybody put in their order. They're like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go pick up. I got y'all. Um, so by my job, there's a. 7-Eleven, Chick-fil-A right, yep. right next to each other. It's across from the RDB. Yeah, yep. correct. And then just the line was brutal because yeah, obviously it's, every Chick-fil-A. it's 12, everybody getting their lunch. I get it. So the line was so long, I was like, all right, I'm just going to park here at 7-Eleven real quick. And then just run over there real quick, put in an order, boom, boom. Hey, seemed practical, but no. And more. as my boy, <laughs> we get out my car, he was like, he reads the sign. He's like, we're not responsible for your car being towed. Oh, bro, that was a but, sign. Blah. Yes. So come on. Granted, we're like, that's going to happen oh, in yeah. five minutes. And we're going in real oh, quick. Oh, yeah, bad boys for life over here. Bye bye. <laughs> bro, <laughs> put it in my order. Put it in my, he put his, puts in his order. We're there waiting. Just waiting for Chick fil A. We got free Chick fil A. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. And then he's like, yo, your car's being towed. <laughs> I was like, Bro, stop, bro. Oh, I see him run. I turn around. I start running. <laughs> I literally fuck the chip for the chip for the literally. I on it. Jumped in front of the tow truck. <laughs> like, and this man, sure. he backed up. He opened <laughs> opened it up, picked it up, and he was out. Yeah, they don't secure it till afterwards. Yeah. Like they'll go to another lot and then tie everything bro. down. Bro, yeah. and he was like. And I jumped right in front of it. I thought I was gonna have to like lay there in front of the damn tow truck, you know, po protesting and shit. And Yo. I pulled up to the man's window. He was like, "What? Like, what you want?" I was like, "I want my car. This is my fucking car. <laughs> what, what do you think?" <laughs> He's like, "Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, this is the prices. This is that. Bum, bum, bum. So, let me tell you, Chick Fil A turned out to be one hundred thirty-three dollars. Just to drop it damn. right there." To put in his pocket. Damn. Yes, basically. But yeah, they didn't even take credit or debit, son. He had to go pull out cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah they had to go pocket. to fucking 7 <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. The guys who call and say, hey, walk they shame. didn't even call them because they have them, I guess, on yeah. deck. Yeah, yeah contracted. Especially contracted. out there, bro. Everybody out there where you work talks about it. I've never seen a tow truck. <laughs> never. Yeah, man. So annoying, man. I was so pissed. It sucks. That's what's up, though. It's no, crazy. that's not what's up. I mean, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> now, so. you know. <laughs> now I know. I, I boycotted. I'm boycotting. You know what I'm saying? Originally, this Chick Fil A, you ain't get my business ever again unless Yo, it's free. Like it's <laughs> hey, Seven Eleven, never again. You know what? <laughs> I, I, 
You know what should, Chick-fil-A should have done when I walked back in? But like, you know what? Here's a Frosty or like a, oh a little milkshake God, for your troubles. That's funny. Wow. We've seen everything that just happened. Pobrecito. Right. Wow. At least an extra sauce for my nuggets. All the food you ordered, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, at seriously. Least. You ordered a lot. At least. Bad boys for life. Shit. <laughs> That's it. Not Chick Fil A's fault. <laughs> Not Chick Fil A's fault. That fucking tow truck. Mom. I haven't been able to go to a Chick Fil A because the line is always so long. They're the only bro, ones I seen. You, Not the, they were the first ones I seen with the double lane thing to kind of like try to. Oh no, bro! Their bro. whole drive-through process is on point. It is. It really no, is. not the one in Waterford. For some reason, that right, one is that one like. Is like no, I mean when the weather is fair, they have people out there taking orders too. Just like that line. Yo, they they got three sets of people one to take your order. One to like check charge your it. order, <laughs> charge you to have, no charge your order, and then give you your order. Mm-hmm. Out by one ninety two, they're all outside. Yeah. You don't even go through the window at all. Right. Vito, same thing. They're all outside. Yeah, they're all outside. It's wild, crazy man. man. They have a shelter built over them with fans down and everything. <laughs> oh I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Legit, this Broke is their it down setup. Down to the science, man. They need to pump that chicken out. How much chicken you think they go through? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. How it's much chicken does chicken, chicken, chicken go through? Bro. Think about it. Ton of chicken. KFC, that's a hell of Yo, have you had their breakfast? Yes. Oh, is that, so would you ever try like, do they have a egg, mm-hmm. a fried chicken, I'm a sandwich? Fried. I'm a fried, but I don't think so. Is. Like, how would that taste? I, don't think, I, I think they have like a, a I chicken about, biscuit. Like, trying that a chicken biscuit with an egg. I'm sure they have something with an egg. I don't know if they have. They don't egg. have it, but I don't think they have. I'm gonna try that one day. Yeah. Because that just sounds interesting. Never been Go home and make your own fried egg or something. What and then take about? it with you to Chick Fil A. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, you <laughs> can order it there. Oh, if they, yeah, if they have, yeah, if they, they have, have eggs. They have eggs. I don't know. They have to. They have, to. They have eggs. They, have to. they do. I didn't, I've never seen that. No, they I they always get like the mini. Them. I always get the mini chicken sandwiches. Oh, that they yeah. have. those are amazing. Yo, that honey, the honey sweet glaze yeah. they put on those things. Oh, jeez, it's like crack. What the fuck? How do we always resort back to food? Oh, because man, look at me. Look at me. What happened to you? Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Look at this. <laughs> no, that was a that was a play on Jose. <laughs> Look what you did to my face. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> yo, yo, right? Like it was everybody loud enough. Everybody There's a bottle the coming, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was at the lofts, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> so much went down at that place, bro. Yep. Outdoor shenanigans. We were drunk. Piss, well, no one piss safe. Three three Nobody safe. He threw a fucking bottle at us and hit the cement. It was wow. crazy. <laughs> and right Jose by. was the only one to not get out of the way. But, <laughs> like everybody said, Duck. Yeah. He's so, the only one that looked towards the bottle <laughs> that shattered against the wall. Oh my God. <laughs> and it barely nipped them. Like the glass barely cut him on the edge. Yo, his face and though. Like, Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys went downtown this past weekend? I heard you were promoting hard. I love it. Oh, Tell yeah. everybody, hey, have you checked out the podcast? Oh, have you yeah. checked out the podcast? That's true. I did. Hey, true. I George did. on the streets. George. Bro, did Trey on the first EDM show at Gil? Oh, what? first, first, EDM first EDM official show. Well, no. I was going to say, is that yeah. the first official show? No, I mean, at Gil. Ritz, the Ritz in Tampa. I mean, yeah, the first Ritz. time at Gil that you've been trying. True, the first time at Gil, though. Hard. Yeah, to I, get I was, I've been trying to get out there and see what's up with them shows. I've been telling both of y'all that you come out. All right, so you just checked it out. How was it? You know, it was chill. It was cool. Like, you know, like I, it was hot. <laughs> it it was. It was oh hot. my god! It was yes. so hot, bro. I was telling everybody. Was so, Alex knew some home. Uh, you know, this is one guy in um Logan. Logan, Logan, yeah, 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 yeah. he's cool as fuck. Um, in the VIP upstairs. Yeah. And I was telling everybody, yo, let's go to VIP. Let's go to VIP. Yo, but <laughs> when we get up there, watch out. The floor is sweating. <laughs> yeah, you might slip. <laughs> that's some shit. Like, no it way. was so hot. Like, the floor was literally drenched. Wow. Yeah. Damn. It was bad, it was though. <laughs> I and then one of their, it had to be their AC unit went out on that side of the building. It was it's normally horrible. cold upstairs. It's, yeah. it's warmer downstairs. Damn. But, uh, yeah, that side, whew, man. Like, you know what? I, I just did. I wasn't feeling the music. Like, maybe it's where we were. Cause you then, like the, the bass, the I just need you know, like I, oh. EDM Orlando. Or I EDC. mean EDC in Orlando. Yeah. I just like you just feel the vibe. But there, I was like, you know, it was cool, it's chill. Like I like the music. We got into a little shuffle. We yeah, chilling. Yeah, because for the most part, we hang out like in by the bar, bar mm-hmm. in this area that's 
not so crowded, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, we're, definitely we're not crowded. Bit, we're you might have people, older, so we don't want people bumping into us. I mean, people be bumping bullshit. into you because yeah, they're passing regardless. by. But it's still love. It's not you know any problem. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you don't really you're not front center stage. You no. know, you're not seeing the stage in full detail. I think I've seen pictures from that angle you're talking. I mean, about. I yeah. got I got in there. I was like, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in the mosh room. I'm gonna go over there real quick. Solo went into the crowd. Oh, yeah, the crowd. Much, but yeah, it was, it was just out. like too much. I was just like, oh, <laughs> oh, which is why we hang out. And by the then bar. once I was in there, there was a fight that broke out. Oh, oh shit, wow. that's right. So I heard And luckily, I was like, all right, cool. I could just exit with you guys. Lead the way. <laughs> you guys been to like a rock concert or anything heavy like that? A ma- nah. nah. No but metal like rock. Like a crazy that? mosh pit. Is nah. that Never seen Food like trucks. Disturbed. Disturbed, nah. Metallica, none of that. Nah. I saw Metallica last year. Oh, that'd be Camping dope. Camping World. My God, what a show, bro. And yeah. they played all the hits. Everything I wanted to hear, they fucking nailed it. Actually, it was so- my boy had tickets to that, and that I think his roommate amazing, stole dude. his tickets. We talked about what? it. Right? Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, Thomas, actually. Wow. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, crazy, man. You stole that my tickets, crazy. Bro. A good room to see a lot of that shit was Hard Rock. I would go to Hard Rock to see a lot of shit. I saw Disturbed at Hard Rock over by a city walk before they were like main, main, main Disturbed and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, John John, I would go out and see shit like that with John John, bro. I think Hard Rock. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking uh, House, of, House Blues. of Blues. Yeah, never mind. A lot of people don't like House of yeah, Blues. Yeah, House of Blues is kind of man. There's just too many visual and like the uh, distractions. Okay, the there's pillars. columns and pillars yeah. and wires, and they just don't have anything like really tidied up. The acoustics there are amazing. Like if yeah. you hear like House of Blues, yeah. If you hear like about instruments and whatnot, like if it's just coming out of the PA, yeah, it's meh. honestly the music was sounding really good. The acoustics it just, are amazing. The visual bro. of it all. I can was, see that. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I've been to two Alice in Wonderland and Seven Lions, and both were sick shows, mm-hmm. but. The best one was Allison because we had VIP right on the balcony. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, that that's balcony. a nice, yeah, yeah. yeah. such a sick nice. view. For sure, absolutely, oh, man, that's, that's the way to go there. You definitely. know, I definitely enjoy concerts more at, you know, House of Blues or Hard Rock versus like Amway. Amway, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't like yeah. Amway. Like, I mean, and, and that's me going back to like, when, when like the reggaeton artists were here, like when Kenny used to hook it up with tickets. <laughs> oh, true. It's oh, so much better because you can't dance. Amway, like you just stand there, you see chairs, yeah, little <laughs> seats, all those seats, too many seats. Yeah. What was it? I'm, th- what I'm pretty sure up? the last show I saw was we seen it up way back when, Ooh. when they were doing those small venues. That's now it's a little different. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think it's they were totally just different. here at Amway. Actually, they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Nikki Jam concert was freaking awesome, but but what were we, you know, I, I we feel were sitting you. down. You know what I'm saying? In, in a smaller like, venue, it's way ah, more sitting intimate. down for a Nikki Jam concert, man. I mean, we get up every here and there, yeah, but yeah. you can't really do weird. anything. You can't vibe. It's not only that. Hold on. It's not only that, but then you got a bunch of people singing, and then you're in such close proximity <laughs> that bitches are just screaming in your ear, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to hear him sing. Yeah, you're right. You it's know, weird. I'm trying to hear him rap. Uh, you hear that flow. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. We Cause... might have to bring back the jack-off sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Rants. Rants. Hey. <laughs> Well, if we, we've so, covered everything we've wanted to cover well, that I've had written down so far. The only thing we have it is the <laughs> I mean, Puerto Rico thing. Or we could try to call him now and see if he's good. See, see what he's doing. See what he's doing. He doesn't like using his phone, fucking bastard. He doesn't mm-hmm. like using his phone? What does to that talk. mean? To uh, talk. He'll send text messages, but he doesn't like talking on it. He's ah, weird. Man, what a guy. I told you what about this the other day. I mean, you said that he's always on uh, Xbox, Xbox with you. Yeah, he don't call me. He just. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm playing the track. What's track? You haven't listened to the track. No. What's the track? What are you talking about? The one of uh, Residente Calle 13. Oh, no, yeah, I did listen to it. Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. I was going to say, he probably did. And Bad Bunny. I forgot that we were talking about that for a minute. <laughs> you know, you have reached. somebody <clears throat> recommended we chop it down or talk about it. I don't know. Yeah, at least uh, That's I, I was like, it. Are we going to talk about the like the track? I don't know. I think what was it with him? He just probably thought it was uh, a topic that kind of hits home, especially. And uh, it's an interesting situation because uh, do we put people on it? So the governor is what it is, from what I understand, right? Uh, yeah, it was released that the governor uh, was talking some really inappropriate and offensive things about the people of Puerto Rico, and that those messages were leaked out, and everybody was kind of able to see his true colors. And uh, I think it's, it's not so much that they were offended by what he had to say. It was probably more than they've reached a, a tipping point. You know what I mean? Where there's been a lot of uh, other things to kind of complain about, legit, um, with, with validation. 
and this is just kind of they're just the, the 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 straw that broke the camel's back type of situation where it's like all right bro we've had enough of you it's time for us to say something you know listen to our voice it's yeah, from what i understand it's essentially what i heard too you know he's um he was talking out his mouth about you know pretty much everybody <laughs> With his group of boys <laughs> in the chat, in the chat, yeah. um, and that's yeah, that's the straw that broke the camel's back, right? Um, and so then the people all the took other to shit. the streets, mm-hmm. and what's going on with that? So everybody said, "Nah, we want to say X, Y, and Z." And what did they have to say? So originally, is like when everything got leaked, right? Let, yeah. Let's just go a little bit back, though. What two people from his cabinet? Right. They got arrested for. Um, yeah, fraud. Fraud. They were, oh, they, fraud. The fraud. That's yeah, that was it. They were fraud. Yeah, they got hit with fraud charges. Okay. Then the chat leaked. Wow. So it was one after another, hit after. Yeah, hit. I mean, this is years in the making too. The economic crisis that's happening right, there. Exactly. Yeah, um, they created some kind of group, some federal group that was not elected and just appointed, and the people didn't yep. like that. Yep. And. Uh, and so there's building up right and then maria hits so there's already a problem now you have a natural disaster on top of the man-made disaster Mm -hmm. and then (laughs) two of your people get arrested and then your fucking chat comes out and so they're done bro they're literally fed up with everything and they're hitting the streets which I think everybody should be looking at that and be like, yo, we might need to start thinking about doing the same for some of the shit we think of. Hey. And I don't know about all the violent shit, but I'm just saying, there's, you know. There's not much violence. I mean, I don't think, like, during the day, you could tell, like, the protest is very peaceful and everything. It's just when night hits. I mean, people are probably agitated from being out in the heat all day. Right. And things get a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen reports of people, like, looting and taking advantage of the situation. And that's, that's always going to happen yeah. everywhere, yeah, though. going to happen. Like, you, you can't, like, I mean, you know, for any Trump lovers, you can't say, oh, it's because, you know, they're Puerto Rican. It's like, it just, that happens anywhere. everywhere and anywhere. Yeah. There's people that are going to go out there and protest for the right reasons. Yep. And people that can get out there and protest for the incorrect reasons. Or demonstrate it the wrong way, for sure. And then, um, I, I mean, it's funny. I saw a picture of this one guy, you know, freaking entre- entrepreneur of the year in Puerto Rico. It was the the crowd of everybody in the middle of the streets of San Juan, right in front of the house. And he had a a little sign that said, Pato Cinco Dólares, pointing down at him. Really? Yeah, that's all you saw. It was like, Pato Cinco Dólares. I was like, wow. My man sold out <laughs> that night. And then... Last night, somebody posted another one saying, um, Donde está el pasto de cinco dólares? Oh, <laughs> wow. So, it's out there. I mean, it, you know what I'm saying? People, like I said, people going out there for the right reasons, incorrect reasons. I mean, how y'all feel? Like, Bad Bunny came from Ibiza to go protest. He paused. He stopped his tour out there in Europe just for this. I mean, yeah, it's just that's hard. crazy. No, I, I definitely respect that. I respect that one hundred. Yeah, I respect it, and I like I told you, I respect the protests and what what they're all about. One thing I will say, and I'll just be devil's advocate here, is that to me, this is something that should have happened even before the chat was released. Yeah. Oh, for right? sure. Yeah, like yeah. we're sensationalizing it now. I think in some in the media. And because of the drama in the chat, but like if you look at anybody, anybody said anybody has said some dumb shit before in the chats. I mean, your chats aren't innocent no. by any yeah, means. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So people are dirty. Everybody's got some dirt. No one's safe. I mean, yeah, exactly. So with that being said, like I can't be mad at the man that this guy was joking with his boys. But But I can't be mad at the fact that he's done everything else prior to that. And now we know how he really feels, (laughs) right? (laughs) So that's like, damn, all right, bro, that's how how it is, okay? Let's 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 say it it wasn't, yes, the chat was taken as a, like, if it was your chat for your boys, but they're also talking to other people outside of the government about government information, like, top secret shit like shit that shouldn't be out there to just a joe schmo or anybody a civilian exactly that's where things get like murky you know what i'm saying well true if there's an investigation on the chat and there was like 
you know, some stuff leaked that really shouldn't be, then I, I get it. And that's where they're going to get him ultimately, to get him out of office, because he's denying it. He's not wanting to leave. No, I mean, he, he didn't deny it. He was like, yeah, you know, uh, I was relieving some stress. I was, you know, yeah, overworked wow. here as a governor of this Puerto Rico. we can come back from. God forbid. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, that's why he was talking like that in chat, calling females putas, talking about gay people. And um, also, I mean, yo, I don't, talking I don't about understand the, by that shit. It's just then, a regular thing sometimes. And then so. talking about like the bodies that piled up on Maria. Like they made oh, fun yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah, they joked yeah, on that. Absolutely. They joked on that. that. That's wild, bro. Like, right. Insane. Oh, the, so do you think with this coming out now, do you think uh, with the protests and the, the moves that Puerto Ricans are making right now, do you think they're going to make the differences that they're, that they're looking for? I mean, unfortunately, like I, I feel he's not going to resign. And he's already one year left. He only has a year left. If they want to try to impeach him, it's not gonna happen. Like within time, he'll probably just finish his his time his last year. Yeah, and that makes sense, and that could be it's why not, he's making a stand. You know, and the, yeah. he's making a stand because, bro, that check. Oh, he's gonna be broke. <laughs> nah, he don't make money. Yeah, you think yeah, so, yeah, bro? Sure. If you finish, if you get impeached, then you you lose your uh your your benefits after like what you know like. Because they get paid. Uh, I feel that, but regardless, like once you're done being the governor, do you still make governor money? Yes, they get paid ten thousand dollars a month for Just being because they were a governor. They like were, that's and their pension. No a governor. That's their pension. Oh shit! So if he gets impeached, he loses a pension. Yeah, they if need he to steps get him down, out. then he loses yeah, a pension. See, I didn't know that. So, yeah, so he's not gonna step down. Cause yeah, he needs to step down because that's not that's not right. And I yeah, I I totally support that. Fuck that. Do you think at any point violence is going to play a role if he doesn't step down? Bro, he cannot step foot in Puerto Rico. I don't think anybody would deny it. I think they're going to do whatever they can to get him out. Wow. So it'll happen. It's a scary thought in a way. I mean, it could get really bad. I mean, I mean yeah. yeah. It was, uh, it's interesting. Yeah. It Puerto Rico has never been known to be safe, so. We didn't think we were about to go to Puerto Rico, man. I mean, this guy's on his way. <laughs> yeah, he's on August, his way. baby. Me and Dano, we out there. <laughs> my, my only concern is with Dano. He's literally right where they're doing it. Wow. Like, the building is not far from that Man. main area. And so, like, if you live somewhere else, it's not a big deal. Your life still goes on, I guess you could say. But, yeah. you know, for the most part, where they're protesting and having that shit, it's a... You Block know, and a half. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, and, and relatively speaking to day-to-day -day life, like, right. I mean, regardless, it's a huge deal for the entire island. But, yeah. Getting around. I mean, what the fuck? Excuse me. Yeah, you made my microphone punch me. <laughs> that was right in the face. Nobody safe. Nobody. So the track. Oh, the track. The track specifically says a lot. A buddy of ours, uh, shout out to Dano, hit us up and say, hey, you should guys, you guys, because this is your podcast. We just broadcast. You guys should check this track out, and we did. I did. Did you guys? Sure did. Yes, absolutely. I've been bumping it since. Who is it? Presidente Calle 13. And Bad Bunny. And Bad Bunny. George's favorite. My boy. My homie. <laughs> George's favorite. Alright, so they say a lot there. A lot. You know, a lot, a lot. Bro. So like, I see that there's, uh, for me, there's pros and cons to it. I think it's cool because it brings awareness. It raises awareness. Look, it got us talking about it. You know what I mean? For sure. Uh, it addresses the issue that needs to be addressed, for sure. And as a lot of these have said, that needs to be said. Um, that's the, maybe the pros. Some of the cons, I think about it, when you think about like uh, addressing something with so much anger, how much good comes out of that, in a sense. But is it anger? Uh, these niggas angry. Oh, everybody's angry. angry though. Okay. There's anger there. Everybody's angry though. So is that that's what I'm saying? Is that the right tool to use? You should you use anger to, to make the changes you need to make change? I think it takes anger to make those changes. Yeah. Depends on how far you take it. Like these men just took it to the to to vinyl basically, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's as far as it gets. It's, nobody's putting his, their hands on them. They're not. Yeah, so yeah maybe exactly. It's the yeah. Maybe the intentions are most makes the difference. Yeah, that's the, the uh, I guess the awareness. Like, about it. You have to get your anger some way, somehow, and they right. used the anger inspired you know, the music. music. Yeah. I don't know if y'all peep this. There's a verse where, of course, Bad Bunny. Um, he said, "Ricky escondiste la muerte con todos los vagones" or something like that. Which you guys, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ricky. 
um, his father was a governor, pre- you know, back in the day. El mm. escondió the fact that he killed oh, wow. a family or like in a car accident or some shit like that. I think that's what it was. Oh, wow. There's like a car accident or like something like he, they just hit that shit. Wow. They made it go away. No Politics. charges, no nothing. Politics, man. That's dirty. So somebody, like, he killed somebody or drinking, drunk driving or some shit like that. I don't know. I mean, people in power are also going to try to do the things that, and not that it justifies it or not. Though, so it's that. crazy. It's like, you know, y- your dad raised you, you know, like that. Yeah. Like, it's going to be That's all right. Gonna, yeah. I'm going to just. The apple is going to fall far from the tree. I'm going to hide it underneath the rug for you. Anybody can get away with anything these days. That's what me and Dana were talking about, actually. Anybody and everybody, well, unless you got money and power. Anybody can get away with anything, man. It's so crazy now. But who? The president's getting away with everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Facts. He's getting away with all of it. You got power and money. Yeah, wow. There's some shit. I mean, hey. Trump's a whole nother topic. <laughs> Bro, and, and if Trump was smart, well, people were saying it's like, oh, look. Trump's allegations towards Puerto Rico was not that far fetched. The fact that you know he didn't send that much money to for Maria Relief, it was the yeah. fact that he was worried that we wouldn't distribute the that government wasn't going to distribute the money correctly. And look what happened. Interesting to see, huh? Anyway, shout out to Puerto Rico. We hope everything gets resolved out there. We love you guys. I keep on what fighting the good say? fight. The good fight, though. You guys remember Gandhi? Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi. Yeah, remember him. For sure. Smart guy. Yeah. He has a good quote. And it was, uh, be the change that you want to see in the world. Hmm. That'd be my uh, my advice to Puerto Rico. Do you think, Puerto Rico? Nice. Yo, fam, I want to thank you for tuning in, listening to us every week. We really appreciate it. Thanks for all the love, the support, the likes. Uh, check us out. Uh, stay tuned for more coming soon. Make sure you tune in and follow us on the social media. That's Jack in the Box Podcast, J-A-C in the Box Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been tuned in to the Jack in the Box Podcast.